What is up, Monster Club and YouTube? This is yours truly, the ultimate party host, the Party Monster, back up in the building with yet another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my latest pickup from Soul Food Kicks in Virginia Beach, a store that I plugged many times in other videos. Great store. Can't say enough good things about them. If you guys haven't checked them out, definitely go check out their website. And if you live in the 757 area, you already know what it is. Anywho... I'm going to do that today, but before I get into that, I want to talk to you guys for a second. So, I know I haven't put together videos in a while, but it's actually because I've been working on a brand new set, and I promise you guys, you guys are going to love the new setup. It's going to look really amazing. Like, I am super stoked to show you guys that, and just to do more things with the whole sneaker situation. Like, I want to do more unboxings, more pickup vlogs, talk to you guys more, and just do more, just branch out. And... While I still have your guys' attention, I have a couple unboxings on deck, I promise you, and I think I'm going to save three of these four for the grand reintroduction of the channel because there is major heat in three of those boxings, I assure you, like, I have a couple of grails in these boxes, and yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you guys a shoe that I really wanted and I actually saw this at my local Nike outlet and the thing was this it was actually my size and that was perfect but the thing is with this shoe you actually have removable patches that you can put on the tongue and for whatever reason all the patches were stolen off of the shoe which is weird because I don't even think the person that stole the patches owns the shoe so it kind of made it redundant but regardless there were no patches on the shoe, and I asked could I get at least a discount because the patches were missing. And they said they would do 10%, which essentially is nothing. I mean, that would have taken off $17. Well, with tax, it probably would have put a couple of dollars from the back of one. But regardless, it wasn't worth it for the price I was paying. I'm paying full price, essentially, for a shoe that's missing patches. Anyway, I actually stumbled upon these Saturday, the same day the Bread to Ones that came out, and... Got them for a really good price. I got it for probably $40 under retail, and they still have the patches intact. Hopefully, I mean, I saw some on the picture, but I don't know if they're all there. But regardless, these are used, but they're in really clean condition. Like, the pictures made these shoes look amazing. Anyway, enough talk. I want to show you guys what's inside this box. Anyway, let's so do it. So, of course, you got to have Tiffany to unbox this. Let's go. So I eventually was able to get this box open. It took me a while because this thing was heavily taped down. Of course, tons of tissue paper. But what we are after is this lovely Nike box. And for the moment of truth, what's in this box? Of course, we have the Air Max 97 in the camel colorway. Super dope. And the quick plug for Soul Who Kicks, as you guys can see, here's their number. Check out their website. And here's a better look for you guys. These are used, but they're in really solid condition, actually. And they do have the patch on top. I don't know if it was supposed to be more than one patch, but I'm definitely glad to have a patch on these as opposed to the ones that didn't have a patch. Anyway, let me just show you guys the bottom as well. As you guys can see, they have been worn, but not in too bad condition at all. I can definitely work with this. And, yeah, you see like a, a small pebble on the front, but that's like the only real thing with this shoe. Not a big deal at all. Definitely it's going to be a nice, cozy, like, travel shoe. I might throw these on when I go to New Orleans, like, like it's a casual shoe or something like that. Of course, you have that air unit, which is really dope. It's probably what attracted me to this shoe. Definitely can't wait to test these out. Definitely a fire shoe. Just kind of wish they would have had like a hint of 3M on here somewhere. That would have been really dope and would have really set off this shoe, honestly. But, can't really complain. Still a dope shoe. Like, if the Nike check mark had been 3M, that would have just been fire. 
So that's going to do it for this first look at the Camo Air Max 97s, but you will definitely be seeing these in a full review very soon, and including an on-foot, even though there's not too much to get into because at the end of the day it's just a camo shoe, but regardless, I'm still going to give it some time. Anyways, be sure to follow me on Twitter, PartyMonster1, and on Instagram, PartyMonster05. Be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Definitely share it with a friend, and if you feel the vibe, hit subscribe. I will catch you guys all in the next video, and until then, remember, party on, peace.